hello and welcome i noticed there are some new subscribers so if you are somebody who normally spends time with me on social media thank you for coming over here to this space i recently posted that i plan to breathe some life and love into my youtube channel so that we can all spend less time on social media and still gather and still have community so thank you for coming over with me if you are new my name is sabina I am a kinesiologist, spiritual mentor and uh, writer and it's lovely to have you here. My videos predominantly are about finding your power in any situation, reminding you of who you are and teaching you to recognize ego, separate yourself out from that to recognize that you are not that and probably most importantly turning your ego from a critic into a guide. So. It's great to have all of you here and whoever listens to this as as uh, a recording at a later date thank you for being here please continue to subscribe if you are new i would love to have feedback on each and every video and i would love for you to give the video a like if you found it helpful today i want to talk to you about how difficult it is for people that are waking up at this time without a spiritual foundation, without a spiritual basis. What do I mean when I say spiritual? I don't mean religious, although of course for some people it is. What I mean by spiritual is a sense of spirit, a sense of higher self and a sense of bigger picture. So there are three types of states to be in whilst we're here on this planet we can be completely soundly asleep under the doona warm snuggled in fully asleep or we can be awake without a spiritual perspective and that is the part that a lot of people are in and that is the part that is the category that is experiences the most pain and then the third category is awake and spiritually connected. Now, the reason why that middle part is the most painful and the reason why some people step into that awake but go back to the asleep or actually they're in the awake period but they're yearning for the comfort of what it was like to be asleep is because without a spiritual foundation and whatever that looks like to you, it is, a, it is an individual journey. It is a unique perspective, just like any other perspective you have. The reason why without that, you almost feel like, well, okay, so now I'm awake that there are other agendas at play. So now I'm awake to the fact that things could be different. Things don't have to be this way but I have no idea why any of this is happening. And it almost can feel like the most hopeless and the most helpless state to be in. Because while you're asleep, it, you at least can feel like, well, it's just the way life is. Life is tough, life is hard, life is painful. That's just the way it is. Or you have the perspective of, uh, you know, things that we hear like, you're only here once, so make the most of it. Are you here for a good time, not for a long time? So whatever perspective you might have, you really tune into all the the ego stuff of life, you know, the, the material and the building and the what can I gain, what can I gather, uh, what experiences can I can I kind of put under my belt, you know, can, like let me let me either um, race through life kind of getting as much of it as I can or let me just safely plod along, ride my time and then go. In that part where you're awake and you're like, okay, so there are choices, but how come I don't feel like I have any choices? Okay, so things could be different. Well, how come they aren't? How do I make them different? How do I connect to my power at a time when it feels like it's all being taken away from me. Um, it can be a very lonely, isolating time. Okay, so now I'm awake, but nobody else around me kind of sees things in the same way. They're asking, why have you changed? Why are you different? Um, you know, why are you suddenly a tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist or whatever, whatever experience that you could be having if you're in that category. And then there is the category of, I'm awake, I am aware, and 
I have tools, I have strategies, I have a foundation that I can connect to that keeps me connected to my power, that keeps me aligned, that keeps me in tune with a higher purpose, a higher sense of why we're here. And I can tune into what's actually from a bigger picture currently going on here. You'll know you're in that category because although you might be wobbly at this time, although things can still feel very challenging at this time, obviously you're on the planet like everybody else. You are exposed to the same energies and fears and conflict as anybody else. But you most likely are actually feeling more hopeful than you have possibly your whole entire life or for a long time. You're possibly feeling very excited at different times. When other people are thinking everything's going to hell in a handbasket, you knew it was going to hell in a handbasket. This is the brakes. The brakes are on and the trajectory is changing. So I want to speak over the next few videos to no matter what which of those categories you're in. If you're in the deeply asleep category, I can't imagine that you're here. I can't imagine that you're still listening. But the other two categories, we can flip in and out of. So really, it's going to apply to all the rest of you. And if you have a sense of that, then I'm going to really dedicate and speak to you I'm going to give you strategies. I'm going to give you some, some things to put on your tool belt. And I'm going to help you in the next few videos that I put up over the next few weeks. I'm really going to focus and dedicate on how to create that spiritual foundation from a non-religious perspective, regardless of what your beliefs are. It's important to recognize that I will always encourage you to do it individually and to follow your own intuition and your own gut feelings on what feel right to you. Now, I might use language that does not speak to you. I might use Jesus. I might use God. I, I like the term God. I like it. It was never spoilt for me. Even though I spent time as a child in Catholic church, the word God, the term God, the concept that I am referring to when I use that word hasn't been spoilt for me. But if it's been spoilt for you, or if it's simply a word that just doesn't resonate with you at all, please know that I'm speaking about a concept. I will use different words at different times. I won't just use that word, but if I use it and you think this isn't speaking to me, Change it in your mind to what does speak to you. Change it to source. Change it to spirit. Change it to universe. Change it to my higher self. Change it to nature, to mother earth. Change it to energy. It doesn't matter. But I invite you to come along over the next three weeks. Let's make it four. For the month of October. I'm going to be on here at different times. So make sure to subscribe. Make sure to get the alerts. Please let your friends know. If you are in the category of, okay, I'm awake to the fact that something's off. There's a few red flags. Things aren't really making sense. I'm awake to the fact that the way we were living on this planet was not beneficial to the vast majority of people. Might have been to a few select few, but it wasn't healthy. It, it wasn't sustainable. It wasn't based on equality. It wasn't based on compassion and humanity. Wherever you are in that. And if you're in a category that says, well, I know what this is about. And I have a good spiritual foundation. We always need support. We always need reminding. And come along anyway. Because you will add to the energy. You will add to this group. You will add to this community. You will help in that foundation. You will help to anchor in the energies of this community. So come along. I look forward to spending this time with you. I look forward to all of us getting relief, peace of mind, greater moments of joy, and a sense of our own foundation, our own anchors, and our own stability in this time 
growing and becoming firmer as we as we build this sense of self as we build our connection with that spiritual that bigger picture that that bigger sense of what's going on perspective okay thank you for being here much love to you and i look forward to you coming along